Every year, the world produces some 500 million tons of iron. The history of this metal goes back thousands of years. Several ancient civilizations learned to manufacture iron, including the Hittites, whose empire thrived in what is now Turkey in around 1600 to 1200 BC. Later, the Assyrians used iron weapons during their invasion of Egypt in the 7th century BC. In the 4th century BC, the manufacture and trade of iron led to the rise of another empire, Kush, which became a powerful trading center located near the modern-day border of Egypt and Sudan in northeast Africa. Much of Kush bordered the Sahara, but the city of Meroe in the southern part of the country was dotted with trees. The people of Kush used this timber to fire the furnaces they used to produce iron. In addition, Meroe had a rich supply of iron ore, the mineral from which iron is made. Meroe was also located not far from the Red Sea, which gave Kush good access to the major trading centers further south. In addition to iron, the people of Kush traded gold, jewelry, pottery, and ivory. Meroe thrived for nearly a thousand years. During that time, the Kushites developed an advanced society, adopted some Roman-style architecture, and developed their own written language. The Kush Empire also gave women more political power than did most other ancient empires. In fact, several Kush monarchs were women. But just as iron had an impact on the rise of Kush, it also had an effect on its fall. Meroe's economy began to suffer during the 4th century AD. One reason for the decline may have been the loss of forests in Nubia, where trees were harvested to fuel the iron industry. In about AD 350, the neighboring kingdom of Aksum invaded Kush, and the Kush Empire fell. Today, Kush is largely forgotten, but the metal that helped build the empire is still important in all our lives today.